I must tell you, in life, there are no accidents. You know, I believe that the dear Lord gave me this wonderful opportunity of the path that I was to follow. My father trained me every day to have my eyes open. I bought the things that appealed to me and I started my corner of 350 square feet. And then when we were about to open that little space. What can we call that space? They asked me. I said, I, I don't know. It is what Wing On would want to have. Why don't we call it Joy's Boutique? And this was how it all came about. And you know what I did with it, the space? You would never guess. I turned it into a very cozy, very intimate living room with 750 square feet. It is not easy in the 70s to find a Chinese girl who spoke in Italian and French. Like Missonis, they were so busy, the whole world wanted them. But I was persistent. I took a box, the carton box there, and I just sat. I said, I will not go until you say yes to my order. In the end, because I persisted, sitting on that carton box until late. Okay, you'll come back another day. We'll sell to you. That period is not the shop, pay and jet fashion as now. I only bought because when I turn the thing inside out, I can see how it is made and I value that. Nationality had nothing to do with it. They just thought, well, this lady spoke every language, so they just welcome me. I would never allow myself to be sloppy because I represented Hong Kong. Creativity was abound. So I could pick and choose, pick and choose, because there was no one else except this woman who wanted to buy this and that, and I had the good eye, thank God. But in the 80s and 90s, Hong Kong was more important, and my order for the designers were very important at that time, and they welcomed that and to have their name represented in Hong Kong or Taiwan was a big success for them. I think the designers were very comfortable to be represented by Joyce. And I am lucky to have been friends, personal friends with them. And we used to travel together, eat together, play together. So we were more than just creator and a buyer, you know. We gelled together as human beings. And that was most, most important to me and to the designers. What was my inspiration was when the women would come in and would take a Joyce bag out. Now, at the age of 80, at the age of 80, it is not so much of what I was when I was young. 
I resigned because I was looking and looking for a future that is bright, which is not only of the body, also of my soul. The trinity of the soil, the self, and the soul. God gave me the gift of being very positive, and I learned about nature, classical music, operas, and also Tai Chi. It just makes my life a very fulfilled one.